Uh, good morning. Welcome to St Mary's Halesworth. It's eight o'clock on Tuesday, the 22nd of November. I'm reading Church Fingers Common Worship Daily Prayer, <coughs> All Saints Advent Seasonal Material. You'll find the words at uh, Arima's Daily Prayer, the Church of England's website, and in the book towards the beginning after prayer during the day, in the morning and evening prayer during the seasons portion. Morning, David. Morning, Johnny. You're welcome to join David on Zoom. The codes are on Blythe Valley Church's website and Facebook page. Uh, I'm recording audio and will upload that onto my Dominic Dobel YouTube channel. But my dog's just uh, stuck up a bit of floor and is chewing on it. I'm going to have to take that away from him. And uh, Blythe Valley Church's Facebook page for live streaming. You may have said that already. And you're welcome to join me in the building uh, 8 and 6 every day. If you're passing, you might like to put your nose around the door. If you're coming from a distance, perhaps it's best to check that uh, we are here. Commemoration of Cecilia Martyr at Rome. No extra material, I don't think, but I'll read something from the Kindle edition celebrating the saints presently. O Lord, open our lips, and, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Your faithful servants bless you. Amen. They make known the glory of your kingdom. Blessed are you, sovereign God, ruler and judge of all, to you be praise and glory forever. In the darkness of this age that is passing away, may the light of your presence, which the saints enjoy, surround our steps as we journey on. May we reflect your glory this day, and so be made ready to see your face in the heavenly city where night shall be no more. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. <clears throat> A song of trust in God, as the deer longs for the water brooks, so longs my soul for you, O God. My soul is a thirst for God, even for the living God. When shall I come before the presence of God? My tears have been my bread day and night, while all day long they say to me, where is now your God? <clears throat> now when I think on these things, I pour out my soul, how I went with the multitude and led the procession to the house of God, with the voice of praise and thanksgiving among those who kept holy day. Why are you so full of heaviness, O my soul, and why are you so disquieted within me? I put your trust in God, for I will yet give him thanks, with the help of my countenance and my God. Glory to the Glory Father, to the Father and, and to the Son, and, Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was, was at the beginning, beginning is now, now and shall be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. <coughs> the Psalms appointed, you'll find at the back of the book, if you're following there, numbers 97, 98 and 100. We open and close with the refrains, we say the glory be after the last verse, we'll read by alternate verses and pause to make use of the prayers that follow each psalm, as we make our way through Psalms 97, 98 and 100. You, Lord, you, Lord are, are most high over all the earth. The Lord is King. Let the earth rejoice. Let the multitude of the isles be glad. Clouds and darkness are round about him. <clears throat> Righteousness and justice are the foundation of his throne. Fire goes before him and burns up his enemies on every side. His lightnings to bliss up the world. The earth saw it and trembled. The mountains melted like wax at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the Lord of the whole earth. The heavens declared his righteousness, and all the peoples had seen his glory. Confounded be all who worship carved images and delight in mere idols. 
Bow down before him, all you gods. Zion heard and was glad. The daughters of Judah rejoice because of your judgments, O God, O Lord. For you, Lord, are most high over all the earth. You are exalted far above all gods. The Lord loves those who hate evil. He preserves the lives of his faithful and delivers them from the hand of the wicked. Light has sprung up for the righteous and joy for the true of heart. Rejoice in the Lord, you righteous, and give thanks to his holy name. Glory to the Father, and, and to the, the Son, Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it as was at the beginning, the beginning is now, and shall, shall be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. You, you Lord, Lord, are most high over all the earth. The Lord has, has made known his salvation. salvation. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvellous things. His own right hand and his holy arm have won for him the victory. The Lord has made known his salvation. His deliverance has he openly shown in the sight of the nations. He has remembered his mercy and faithfulness towards the house of Israel. And all the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Sound praises to the Lord, all the earth. <clears throat> Break into singing and make music. Make music to the Lord with the lyre, the lyre and the voice of melody. With trumpets and the sound of the horn, sound praises before the Lord, the King. Let the sea thunder and all that fills it the world and all that dwell upon it. Let the rivers clap their hands <clears throat> and let the hills ring out together before the Lord, for he comes to judge the earth. It shall judge the world and the peoples with equity. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the, Son, and and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, beginning is now and shall be forever. Now. Amen. Amen. The Lord has made Lord known has made his salvation. salvation. <clears throat> the Lord is Lord gracious, is gracious. His steadfast, steadfast love is everlasting. everlasting. O be joyful in the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness and come before his presence with a song. Know that the Lord is God. It is he that has made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. The Lord is gracious. <clears throat> his steadfast love is everlasting. His faithfulness endures from generation to generation. Glory to the Father, Father and, and to the Son, Son and to the Holy Spirit, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, beginning, is now and, now, and shall be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. The Lord is gracious. The Lord is gracious. His steadfast, steadfast love is everlasting. Is <clears throat> Scrolling past our first reading to the song of the new creation, turning back to morning prayer, all saints to Advent. I will make a way in the wilderness, in the wilderness and, and rivers, rivers in the desert. desert. I am the Lord, your Holy One, the creator of Israel, your King. Thus says the Lord, who makes a way in the sea, a path in the mighty waters. Remember not the former things, nor consider the things of old. Behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. 
to give drink to my chosen people. The people whom I form for myself, that they might declare <clears throat> my praise. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and, and, and to the, the Holy Son, Spirit. And to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. This from Kindle edition of Celebrating the Saints. Cecilia was one of the most revered martyrs of the Roman Church, but the only thing known for certain is that at some point in the second or third century, a woman called Cecilia allowed the church to meet in a house in Trastavere in the city of Rome, and that subsequently the church erected on that site bore her name. She was remembered as a brave woman who risked giving hospitality to the Christian church when to do so was to court censure and possibly death. According to a tradition that can be dated no earlier than the 5th century, she converted her pagan husband and his brother to the faith, both of whom were martyred before her. She is honoured as the patron saint of musicians. <coughs> And again, we're not told why. Our first Bible reading, Isaiah 40, 12 to 26. Isaiah opens the prophecy section of the Hebrew Scriptures between half and two-thirds of the way through your Bibles, if you've got a Bible with both covenants in it, Hebrew and Greek Scriptures. Isaiah, we're looking at the large number 40, chapter 40, and the small numbers in the text, the verses 12 to 26. Thank you, David. Who has measured the waters in the hollow of his hand, and marked off the heavens with a span, and closed the dust of the earth in a measure, and weighed the mountains in scales, and the hills in a balance? Who has detected the spirit of the Lord, or as his counsellor has instructed him? Who did he consult for his enlightenment? And who taught him the path of justice? Who taught him knowledge and showed him the way of understanding? Even the nations are like a drop from a bucket and are accounted as dust on the scales. <clears throat> sea takes up the isles like fine dust. Lebanon would not provide fuel enough nor are its animals enough for a burnt offering. All the nations are as nothing before him. They are accounted by him as less than nothing, an emptiness. <clears throat> to whom then would you liken God, or what likeness compare with him? An idol, a workman casts it, and a goldsmith overlays it with gold, and casts for its silver chains, for its silver chains. As a gift, one chooses mulberry wood, wood that will not rot, and seek out a skilled, craft, skilled artisan to set up an image that will not topple. Have you not known? Have you not heard? Has, has it not been told you from the beginning? Have you not understood from the foundations of the earth? It is he who sits above the circle of the earth, and its inhabitants are like grasshoppers, who stretches out the heavens like a curtain, and spreads them like a tent to live in, who brings princes to naught, and makes the rulers of the earth as nothing. Scarcely are they planted, scarcely sown, scarcely has their stem taken root in the earth, when he blows upon them, and they wither. <coughs> Tempest carries them off like stubble. Who then will you compare me? Or, to, or who is my equal, says the Holy One? Lift up your eyes on high and see. Who creates these? He who brings out their host and numbers them, calling them all by name because he is great in strength, in power, not one is missing. Thank you. The book of Isaiah is in three parts, before, during, and after exile, and the first 
20 verses, chapters approximately are before exile and the next during and the final after. <clears throat> and um, this reads as though it's written in that middle section, during exile is an attempt of the writers who were in the school of the person who wrote the first portion, <clears throat> comparing <clears throat> the idols of the peoples amongst whom they live, works of their own hands, their own imagination, their own um, sort of community and peer pressure and uh, sort of psychic interaction, their gods and the god of God's people who are in exile. And it's quite intriguing because we've got people who are in exile, imagine refugees in a rubber boat, and the people in the boat are trying to tell the other people in the boat that actually their god is greater than the gods of the people that are imprisoning them, oppressing them, causing their lives to be difficult. But that's what's going on. The writers are trying to keep God's people um, apart from those amongst whom they live, that they don't assimilate or marry, so that they remain, retain their ethnic identity, retain their faith, their religion. And so we've got the lines such as, you need to find somebody who can make the thing out of wood, covering it in gold and set it up so it doesn't topple, comparing that to who has measured the waters in the hollow of his hand and marked off the heavens with a span. So the God of the Jewish people was uh, the creator God and the God who foretold both things that the idols were not uh, well known for doing, even if they were um, providers of peace and food and uh, riches. And so that is effectively what we have here. And so in our times of difficulty and persecution, the equivalent for us would be to turn, I guess, to our Christian heritage, to turn to go and sit in the quietness of our church buildings, to calm our minds and our spirits, seeking for prayer, engaging with the people of faith that they may sustain us and give us a rhythm in which, through which we can get through the oppression of the cost of living crisis, loss of job, loss of relationship, bereavement, whatever it might be, rather than putting our trust in those things that we had created for ourselves, our home, our relationship, our work, our job, our health, which perhaps uh, are wobbly, perhaps the gilding is wearing off. So to Revelation 14, our second Bible reading, scroll onto it online, turning to the back of the Bible if you're following in a Bible with both covenants in, right at the back you'll find the book of Revelation, and if you move a few pages in towards the beginning of the book you'll find chapter 14, and we're starting at verse 14, going to the end of the 15th chapter. So the chapter numbers are the large numbers at the head of the paragraph, the small numbers are the verses in the text, starting at Revelation chapter 14, verse 14, and going on to the end of 15. Thank you, David. Then I looked, and there was a white cloud. Seated on the cloud was one like the Son of Man, with a golden crown on his head, on his head and a sharp sickle in his hand. Another angel came out of the temple, calling with a loud voice to one who sat on the cloud, Use your sickle and reap, for the hour to reap has come because the harvest of the earth is fully ripe. So the one who sat on the cloud swung his sickle over the earth. The earth was reaped. And another angel came out of the temple, and he too had a sharp sickle. And another angel came out from, from the altar, the angel who has authority over fire. And he called with a loud voice to him who had the sharp sickle, Use your sharp sickle to gather the clusters of, vine, of the vine on the, of the earth, for its grapes are ripe. <laughs> so he just swung the sickle over the earth and gathered the vintage of the earth, and he threw it into the great wine press of the wrath of God. The wine press was trodden outside the city, and blood flowed from the wine press as high as a horse's bridle for a distance of about 200 miles. And I saw another horse into heaven, great and amazing, seven angels with seven plagues, which are the last. For them, 
that the wrath of God is ended. And I saw what appeared to be a glass, a sea of glass mixed with fire. And those who had conquered the beast and its image and the number of its name standing beside the sea of glass with harps of God in their hands. And they sing the song of Moses, the servant of God, and the song of the Lamb. Great and amazing are your deeds, Lord God Almighty. Just and true are your ways, King of the nations. Lord, who will not fear and glorify your name? For you alone are holy. All nations will come, worship before you. For your judgments have been revealed. After this, I looked at the temple of the tent of witness in, he in heaven. Sorry. After that, I looked, and the temple of the tent of witness in heaven was opened. And out of the temple came the seven angels <laughs> with the seven angels, robed in pure bright linen, with golden dust across their chests. And one of the four living creatures gave the seven angels seven golden bowls full of the wrath of God, who lives forever and ever. And the temple was filled with the smoke from the glory of God and from his power. And no one could enter the temple <coughs> until the seven plagues and the seven angels were ended. <coughs> Thank you. So we continue in the end times in this apocalyptic, dream-like, coded account written by and for people who were oppressed. Here, interestingly, we do actually have names for God. Great and amazing are your deeds, Lord God the Almighty. We don't, still don't have the words Jesus Christ, Lord Jesus Christ in it, as otherwise the censors would have picked it up and uh, taken it away. Jesus describes the Lamb here which uh, makes sense to those of us that understand Jesus died uh, over the Passover, as it were, the Passover lamb covering those that believed with his blood that uh, God's wrath may not touch them, just as the Passover lamb was dormed on the doorposts as God's people came out of Egypt. <clears throat> the opening paragraph talks about harvest being reaped with a sickle. I imagine that's a wheat harvest, though we're not told. <clears throat> and we're not told the outcome of that. <clears throat> but we do know from the parables that uh, the wheat harvest was taken up and put into the granaries. And then we've got a harvest of grapes, <clears throat> which appear to experience the wrath of God. So uh, maybe that's goodies and baddies um, facing their death. We're told that there are seven angels with seven plagues appear, and they um, are noted right at the end of uh, chapter 15 those seven plagues and seven angels, but we're told that once those have been lived through, then the wrath of God will be over. But in the midst of all this calamity and death and uh, harvesting, we've got this uh, vision, or at least the context of this is the vision of God, actually, because the paragraph with which we open begins, there was a white cloud and seated on the throne, one like the Son of Man with a golden crown on his head. <clears throat> and then we have another image, Sea of glass mixed with fire. Uh, those who'd conquered the beast singing, interesting, the song of Moses and the Lamb. So that's the law. The first and the second covenant represented. And we've got this song, Great and Amazing Are Your Deeds. So not dissimilar to our thoughts reading the first reading, that in time of persecution, difficult when we're tempted to despair, let us be reminded of this vision that God is over and above all, that is full of anger against injustice and wrong, those that oppress us, or need our own oppression as we oppress others. But also there is this glory, this might, this power that is to be worshipped, to be feared, to be served. And uh, those that don't are, are destined for what's called in the Bible a second death or a worse end than those of us that are put to death as we serve and strive and struggle uh, under and within the love and direction of God. To our second, and after our second reading, we turn back to uh, morning prayer, All Saints Advent, for the responsory. Scrolling on 
if we're following electronically. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. My lips, My lips shall, shall proclaim your faithfulness. faithfulness. The heavens bear witness to your wonders. I will, I will sing forever of your love, love, O Lord. The assembly of your saints proclaims your truth. My lips shall, shall proclaim your faithfulness. faithfulness. Righteousness and justice are the foundation of your throne. Steadfast love and faithfulness go before you. I will sing, I will sing forever of your love, love, O Lord. My, My lips shall, shall proclaim your faithfulness. faithfulness. The Song of Zechariah You, you will guide, guide us with, with your counsel, O God, and afterwards receive us with glory. Blessed, Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This is the oath God swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for we you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. You will guide us with your counsel, O God, and afterwards receive us in glory. Let us pray. Father, Son, Spirit, three in one, one in three, as we face the day ahead with its challenges, may we be reminded of your great and glorious power that sustains and supports those that are poor and oppressed and brings, ought to bring fear and trembling to those that oppress. We pray that uh, we will be inspired today to speak the truth, to care for the excluded and to worship and serve as you have given us a heart to do by your grace through your spirit. Amen. The World Council of Churches prayers this week are for East Timor, or Timor-Leste, and Indonesia and the Philippines. We're thankful for the vital witnesses of churches in the region. Pray for governors in Indonesia, the Philippines, and Timor-Leste that they will eradicate corruption, establish justice and peace, and work effectively for the well-being of all their people. Amen. From Christian Action Research and Education, we ask God to help all who live more carefully to live more carefully in the face of climate change and other ecological problems. Pray for all who produce food and provide other goods and services to take steps to radically produce pollution and other harm to the natural world and those who live in it. Amen. From Green Christian. Without change to people's behavioural lifestyles, it would be possible for the UK to reach net zero by 2050, writes Christina Damaski and Stuart Capstick for the Conversation. But the government is failing to put in place the conditions that would enable this to happen or even recognise its relevance in cutting emissions and meeting targets. It's a laissez-faire approach of simply going with the grain of consumer choice according to a... Just uh, scrolling through to find where we go on to. Recent report has no chance of beginning bringing about the urgent changes needed. House of Lords inquiry assessed the role of public behaviour in meeting climate and environment goals and the report drawn evidence from leading experts on behavioural science and social change as well as submissions from a wide range of organisations including Tesco, Natural England and Cycling UK. Among the criticisms levelled at the government were accusations it places too much faith in unproven technologies to fix the climate and its reluctance to communicate to the public the scale of social change needed to create a low carbon society. Very true, and uh, I imagine it would be similar to our change in relation to COVID, which I thought we were going to be able to move seamlessly into and onto, but we haven't. And uh, so we pray God's mercy, as uh, there's been precious little outcome in the way of the COP27 conference that's uh, just concluded. We pray that those who have 
and do continue to fight for a correct and uh, fearful and uh, active response to climate breakdown will not be disheartened and will continue their battles to have us change our minds, lives and actions. Amen. With any angry communion, our responsibility for the environment is our fifth mark of mission and Pope Francis has written a prayer in relation to care for in the environment and uh, this is part of it. All-powerful God, you are present in the whole universe and in the smallest creatures you embrace with your tenderness. All that exists, pour out on us the power of your love that we may protect life and beauty. Fill us with peace that we may live harming no one. Amen. <clears throat> and our benefice cycle prayer on Tuesdays, we pray for our local businesses and other sectors of our community, uh, those uh, employed by the local authorities, uh, as well as private and our military and uh, emergency services alongside Coast Guard, those working in prisons. We pray God will sustain and support and provide for them in these days. May they have enough income and enough time owed them that they may enjoy their Christmas holidays when they get there. Amen. We thank you for our people today praying for Jason, the church warden here, the other officers in the PCC, the congregation community. We thank you that the church was so full with queues coming to see Santa with, the, with those children on uh, Saturday with a great crowd in the town. I had the privilege to uh, say a few prayers about light and joy and hope in that darkness. And uh, we thank you for our place and we pray that you'll sustain and encourage Jason in all his various roles and uh, bless him and grant him and the other members of the PCC and their officers increased support that uh, the PCC may grow in number and ability. Amen. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Chipomosmoroshan <laughs> Almighty God, you have knit together your elect in one communion and fellowship in the mystical body of your Son Christ, our Lord. Give us grace so to follow your blessed saint in all godly and in all virtuous and godly living, that we may come to those inexpressible joys that you have prepared for those who truly love you. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Uniting our prayers with the whole company of heaven, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father, Father in heaven, heaven hallowed be your name. name. Your kingdom, your come. kingdom come. Your will, will be done, done on earth as in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us today our daily bread. bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive, forgive those who sin against us. us. Lead, Lead us not into temptation, temptation but deliver but us from evil. evil. For the kingdom, For the, kingdom the, power, the power, and the glory are yours, yours. Now, now and now forever. forever. Amen. Amen. May Christ, who has opened the kingdom of heaven, bring us to reign with him in glory. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Goodbye to those joining us on YouTube.